一百零四年外交小尖兵、英语种子队选拔活动、北区初赛、国立政治大学教育学系陈荣正教授。第二位，辅仁大学英国语文学系李桂香教授。第三位，实践大学应用外语学系陈纯丽教授。第四位，名传大学应用英语学系麦杰斯教授。第五位，中原大学应用外国语文学系李佳远教授。接下来介绍贵宾，欢迎教育部专门委员陈秋商小姐、教育部张婉晴小姐，欢迎外交部公众外交协调会张水庸专门委员。以及外交部蔡炳伦小姐，现在我们就请主办单位之一的外交部张水庸专门委员为我们上台为活动揭开序幕。哎，各位同学，大家早。早。那个，我是外交部呃、啊、公众外交协调会哈，这次呃很荣幸再一次跟那个教育部啊呃一起在这个武林高中举办这一个盛会哈。那首先我会代表这个我们两个单位哈，向这个武林高中的林校长跟全体的师生哈提供这么多的行政协助，呃，表示最高的敬意，谢谢你们。接着呢，就是我们今天啊最也是很重要的哦，非常重要的这个千挑万选出来的我们五位评审啊，这个历年来我们不断的在呃寻找新的这个而且更专业的评审来担任这一次。以最公正、公平、公开的方式来甄选出我们最优秀的队伍。所以，我们、呃、大家我们一起合掌来跟他们呃五位评审啊做最高的鼓励跟感谢哈。最后哈，今天的重头戏哈，也就是今天哈，你们这个舞台就是你们哈，各位的所有的学生哈，还有他们陪伴他们这一段时间不断的努力的这个。家长跟老师哈，我们在这边哈，以更热烈的掌声为自己鼓掌哈。好，那今天应该是一个很很好的开始，外面风和日丽哦。我们今天在就在这样的场合里面哈，我们宣布今天的整个节目啊开始哈，预祝各位顺利哈。那我在这边再一次谢谢武林高中校长哈及各位评审，谢谢大家。接下来也感谢国立武林高中林清波校长提供优良比赛场地以及协助比赛事宜的各位师长同学。谢谢以上贵宾。第一队表演题目是 Blood Drenching Syrup， 计时开始。Welcome to Flight G two four six one. We will arrive at Bangura Airport six hours later. We wish you enjoy your stay on the plane. Hey, nice hat. Your birth is when you're traveling in Taiwan? Actually, I was born in a aboriginal tribe called Amis, which is in eastern Taiwan. Wow, that's interesting. I'm Jack, a businessman from England. And you? My friends call me Tom. I'm a counselor from Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Republic of China. Uh, so, you're going to Jerusalem on duty or for traveling? On duty. I'll hold a meeting with the Taiwanese businessman there. Anyone alive? No, everybody is dead. If you can work, I suggest that you flee with us. This place is under the Islamic State's control. Where am I? Somewhere in Riyadh, near Damascus. See ya. Hurry up. Huh? A pack 
There is no need to eat human beings now. <laughs> Femida, it's all right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stop pushing! The border is tempering itself. We've shot out to many Syrian people. Let us come in. We just want a place to survive. Excuse me. I'm a counselor from Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Republic of China. And then? Can you connect Taipei Veteran in the Bundesrepublik Public Deutschland? I will manage that for you. Are you supposed to be in Syria now? The plane I took crossed in Damascus, Syria. And since then, there have been no ways for me to connect Taipei. Can you apply German visa for me? Of course. As you can see, the refugee needs food, clean water, and medicine. Can you call for aid? As a matter of fact, I was accompanied by members from Tzu Ji Foundation. Instant noodles, bread, milk powder, and clean water. For you? For you, and for you. Take it easy. You never told me you were an officer in Taiwan government. Because you never asked. Huh. Why do you want to be a foreign affairs officer? Hello, I'm still here. I grew up in mountain area. When I was a kid, I wondered what this world looks like. I wanted to become a rich man and travel around the world. Embracing this world is not easy for poor families. Hence, I made up the change to my mind. He took the examination of public officer employment, as I did, so we can fulfill our dreams. However, we care much more than tourism. Tough issues like visa privilege to ROC passport holders, humanitarian aid, human rights, climate change, energy, food security, terrorism, even worse, droughts and famines are happening all around the world. That's true, but the harder thing is how to help our next generation develop a global perspective. Hey, wait, why not start from education? I hear there was youth demonstration against the pro-China historic curriculum. Provide students with sufficient energy, train them to become independent thinkers and give them chances to access to the world. This will be different. I only hope there will be no more wars around the world. Thanks for your watching. 第二对表演题目是《Endless Love》from Taiwanese Youth。计时开始。One day, a young college student named Edward and his father Nick are watching the news. On to international news. The Syrian civil war, with an estimated death to 100,000, has left thousands of people homeless. Many of whom are children. There have been numerous reports of air raids and massacres. Oh, that's real tragic. Perhaps adopting a child may be a proper approach to help them. Therefore, Nick discussed with his family. 
They all knew it's not an easy job. However, they were determined. After overcoming a lot of bureaucratic paperwork and other problems, they finally adopt a 15-year-old Syrian teenager, Rebecca. Hi, my name is Edward. I'm your brother now, Rebecca. Welcome to our home. There are some books to read, and this is a computer. Computer? Yeah, computer. Have you ever seen one? No, because my family was really poor. This will be okay. You have us now and forever. I think there are many things you have never seen. Maybe it's time to show around the neighborhood. Hey, Justin, what's up? Nothing special. This is my sister, Rebecca. Rebecca, this is our neighbor, Justin. I thought you were an only child. No, she's my new adopted sister. She lost her parents in a conflict in Syria. I see. Today is Rebecca's first day of school. Justin was in the same class as her. Unfortunately, he had already started gossiping to his classmate, which leads to bullying and discrimination. Hey, look at what that freak is doing. I have an idea. Come with me. Hey, give it back to me. Illis, what are you doing? Oh no, no to just here. here. Listen, I want to talk to you guys about something. I saw it did to a new classmate. I will disappoint it in you all. I know her background is different, but we all have feelings. Look at little children in war zones. They have no homes and no families. You should be satisfied with what you have. I want you all to remember the Spanish saying, Oi, poti, mana pomi. It means today you might be the one who needs help, but tomorrow I may be the one who needs help. Please, my student, treat all with kindness. Now with contempt. I'm sorry for what I've done to you. Me too. I shouldn't make fun of you. Instead, we need to stick together and take care of each other. We won't do that again. Will you forgive us? Certainly. I hope we can be best friends from now on. After a few days, Rebecca saw Justin browsing Facebook on his cell phone. What is that? Oh, it's Facebook. It's a social media website. Do you have an account? No, I've never seen this before. Then you should set up an account. Let me help you. Rebecca was adapting quickly to the new resources and technology around her. One day, she saw a news article about the war in her hometown. Remembering her childhood, she wanted to help. So, she discussed with Edward about how to make a difference for them. Mm, I have an idea. We can launch an online fundraiser to raise money for medical supplies and food. Shortly after, they post an event invitation on Facebook and spread the news through various social media platforms. Hey sis, I've been waiting to say this to you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I still can't believe how lucky I am to be here. I want to share my happiness and I want those in need to experience this joy. If only I can convince people to help us. I'm always inspired by your stories. I really think you should show them. I know, you should start a blog. I can help you to set one up. What do you think? What, people want to read my stories? Yeah, you're amazing. You know, I don't give out compliments that often. Okay, I'll give it a try. Rebecca's blog about her adventure started to trend and they soon got a lot of online followers. From this massive support, they managed to raise enough money for their goal. They donated all to World Vision. Also, the president founded the acts of the selfish teens and had the ceremonies to acknowledge their great service. You are outstanding teenagers. Using their new fund resources, Edward and Rebecca started an organization to help underprivileged children in the world. Thanks for watching. 第三对表演题目是 Step into the road. 计时开始. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Step into the world. I'm the hostess, Rebecca. Today, we are going to talk about a charity. And our guest for today is a teacher who has worked for the charity for decades. 
Welcome to our show, Miss Lee. Hi, Rebecca. I'm glad to be here. I heard that your charity has a tour in Taiwan recently. Yes, the students will perform the Chinese martial art and mix with different types of dance. The kids have tours to different countries every year, right? Yes, through these tours, we can let more people know about our charity, and it's a good opportunity for our students to look a different way to the world. What a meaningful tour. Oh, we just had a nice chat about the tour. We forgot to talk about something important. Can you briefly introduce the charity? Yes, the whole name of our charity is called Army Tofu Care Center. To cut it for short, you can just name it ACC. And what is the main goal of the charity? Our charity is a school associate which helps orphans in some South African countries. Orphans? Yes, most students in our school don't have parents. They were killed by the disease or military conflicts. I feel so sorry to hear that. We all know that there are still a lot of people waiting for us to help. Yes, we hope that more people can attend our charity affairs. I think through today's interview, more people will know about our char your charity and will attend the volunteer work. Yes, we hope that more people can join us. Oh, okay, it's time to say goodbye. We will be back tomorrow at the same time on Step Into the World. Wow, wow, wow! Oh my gosh! The goal of the organization is so great! I'm going to tell Daisy and others about this. Hello, Daisy. Where are you? Are you guys still at the library? Yes, what's wrong? I have a very important thing to tell you. Can you please come to the cafe near my house in 10 minutes? OK. You said that you have a big issues to tell us. What's so important? I was watching an interview. It's about a charity that helps African children. And I think we should do something to help them. You mean the ACC? My parents and I went to see their performance last weekend. The kids are so adorable. I know that charity too. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. They are coming to our school next week. And my teacher asked me to find some friends to show them around school. Do you want to join in? So we can be like real receptionists? How cool is that? I think it's a great opportunity for us to interact with them. What do we need to prepare? You don't have to worry. Our main job is be with them while they are meeting other students. Mm, it sounds like an easy job. Hey, don't you guys think that we should prepare some meeting gifts for them? Well, I have already prepared some presents. Look, a doll. Some pencils. Some books. Some erasers. And I'm going to share with them my favorite Hold candy. on a second, Daisy. How many things do you prepare? And how many people are coming to visit us? About 30, I think. Only 30? Then why did you prepare? Um, you, you, you know. Th this much. I think of their friends too. They can bring the present back to Africa and share with their friends. Oh, I got it. Maybe we can tell our classmates about it and if, see if they want to join us. It sounds like a good idea. It really is. Let's do our best to make the world a better place. Thank you. 第四对表演题目是 Pay It Forward， 计时开始。Boring. Let's watch TV. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Truth News. I'm Peter Wang. I'm Kevin Lee. Today's scary story of Taiwan is Step 30 organization. Step 30 was inspired by Canadian retired pastor Alan Remley. He started building houses and set up his own non-government organization about 10 years ago. And he took the money he made to build churches, clinics, and schools in the third world. Therefore, in 2014, a group of Taiwanese founded an organization called Step 30. They follow Alan's step, they collect all shoes, 
clothes and ship them to Africa for the people in need. Especially an order of Uganda and Kenya. Most children from Mount Elgin area have no shoes to wear. They have to walk 90 minutes with bare feet. In that, they have high possibility of infect deadly disease called jiggers. In addition, they have no medical resources and public transportation systems. If they got a disease, unfortunately, it will be their death along soon. Thus, they collect these shoes to save children's life. The founder say, seeing the joy of children putting on their very first pair of shoes is their motivation to do more. That's really touching to know that a group of people caring about these children. You're right, but there's still a lot of people need help in the third world, and your donation may become children's miracle to life. And that's our caring story of Taiwan. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Poor kids. We have to do something for them. What can we do? I have no money. Mm, let me think. Hey, we can donate shoe to step 13. Let's go idea. Let me go home and check. Maybe I can find some shoes. I'm checking too. Okay. Bye, Anna. to let more people to know it. But I think it will not be that easy. Who knows? Maybe it will work. Okay, let's do it. during the flag raising ceremony. How? Mm, let's write a letter to the principal. Maybe he can help us. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I received a letter about help other people in need. I believe some of you might see the poster of that 30 on the bulletin board, right? And today, I invite Anna and Kelly to share more information about that 30 with us. Let's welcome them. Hi, everyone. Step 30 is a very meaningful activity. We need your help. Donate your shoes so that we can help more. It's a, you can help more people. Environment in Africa. Starvation is not the only reason let matter people die. No shoes to wear is another cause of people's death. Why? Because when children walk on a rocky road with bare feet, they may get hurt. The dreadful parasite triggers will stay and lay eggs in these children's bodies as well cause people death. Several line men pass away while we are talking. Just donate your shoes and share your love to them. We can make a difference. We can save a small life as we can. Well, well, well. After listening their speech, I hope everyone can go home and check if there are any pair of shoes you still don't wear. And please, just donate it. Thank you. Yeah, all of we 
spent a lot of time collecting shoes. We finally did it! That's right. The Salon 2 Step 30 organization. Okay, let's do it! Thank you for your attention. 第五队表演题目是 A picture is worth a thousand words. 计时开始。Whoa, what's wrong with Judy? I've never seen her read anything. Come on, she's a freshman. It's normal for young girls to be interested in pop stars and boys and... Like you aren't. Oh, this is so sad. Look at this little boy in this demolished classroom. He looks so depressed and helpless. Are you all right? Why are you interested in news all of a sudden? I saw this picture and it caught my eyes, so I started to read. Look, let me see. This boy is trying to study in a pile of rubble. How can he even learn while everything was destroyed? Oh, guys, can I borrow a pair of scissors? Why is she crying? Nothing to do with me. It's that photo on the magazine. Let me see. I see it's about the war on Syria. Ever since the war began, lab schools have been destroyed, leaving a lot of children without schools to go to. I'm sorry. Are people doing anything to help? Yes. People have been sending in shelters, tents, food, water. I think somebody set up a temporary classroom for children refugees. But still, access to education is not given to you. Here you go. What's your club working on? Uh, well, not much. You know, I'm from Mile UN, so a lot of what we do is research other countries and discuss issues about them. But to be honest, I don't think there's much we can do besides, well, talk about them. I mean, is there anything, like, there's not much young people can do, is there? Anyway, thanks. I have to go. Bye. You know what? I disagree with that. I think our club can do something to help. But we're just a photography club. What can we do? Hmm. I was thinking, since this photo had such a big impact on me, it might be the same for others. You're a genius. I think we can use photos to make a difference. We can gather photos like this one to help raise awareness. I think we can make a big impact because a, a picture, picture is worth a thousand words. words. Exactly. Photos do speak louder than words. Just like the picture of the Syrian boy who drowned, his photo helped to raise worldwide awareness of what the refugees are facing. Let's make a big poster on the notice board. Good idea. But we need a theme. What theme, though? Hmm. How about we help this boy? I don't mean this boy exactly, but children like him who want to study but are unable to. You're right. I think it might be hard for us to reach the kids in Syria, but we can help other children. I went to Ningxia to volunteer this summer, and I visited the orphanages there. I noticed that they have computers and even access to the internet. Really? Yeah. How about we think of ways to teach them over the internet? Brilliant! Let's, Let's get, get to work! work. <sighs> Looking at these photos makes me realize just how lucky we are. See how these kids? They're forced to do child labor while everyone around us can receive a stable education from a young age. Hey guys, I heard you guys putting up quite a stir in school. Everyone's talking about your photos, so what have you been doing? We collected these photos and made this giant poster. It reminds people of the education problems some children are facing around the world. A friend of mine saw our poster, got very touched. He then got his whole class to come and see. Now everyone in the school is talking about projects. These photos are just a starting point. When people become of the problem, we want them to take action. We start a program for students to sign up and teach children over the internet. Look at the overwhelming response we're getting. Wow, so what have you been teaching them? We make videos of the subjects we're good at, and we digitalize our work and post them onto our website and onto YouTube so that more children around the world can see them. OK, so what videos have you made? Since Taiwan is well known around the world, for education and math, I'm giving math lessons. Cool. And you guys? Since we too both love singing, we made a video to teach kids Taiwanese pop songs. 
We are Taiwan U2K. Let me show you how. When you come to Taiwan, you will fall in love. Wow, you actually went ahead and translated the whole thing in English. Mm -hmm. hmm, maybe I should do something like the other way around. Say, teach some kids Mandarin to yourself. I mean, isn't that like the hottest foreign language to learn right now? Great idea. So, where can I sign up? Here you go. Yay! Woo! Be inspired. Get involved. Take action. We are Taiwan Youth who we care, care for, for the world. world. Thank you. Bow. 第六队表演题目是 When Law Prevails, Power Grows. 计时开始。Selena, I want to learn. I want to grow up like you. Can you teach me reading and writing? Sure, Yuda. Can you read this for me? Um, I, I don't know how to read it. Oh, that's okay. Let me teach you. Okay. Repeat after me. A, A, B, B. Mike, after spending two weeks here, I've learned and changed so much. Before we came. We all thought this was just a backward country with ignorant people and poor living conditions, but actually, this is a place full of love and warmth. True, what we consider readily available in Taiwan is actually very precious to them. We have adequate education and great healthcare that we don't really appreciate. We signed up for a volunteer program because we had thought it would look good on our CV, and that we might get extra credits for our college application. I'm ashamed we had that selfish and unkind idea. Max, you got the point. We should have shown more concern and respect to countries and people like this. There must be a way that we can help. But how? We are only high school students. No, we're old enough to plan for our own future. Selena, come play hide and seek with me. Let's go. How could I ever forget? I helped organize a charity event recently. It struck me that we can establish an organization ourselves if we can find sponsors. That's a marvelous idea. I have a lot of experiences in counseling and social work service. I majored in education in college. I enjoy teaching kids. I can help those who are deprived of the opportunity to receive education. Count me in. I can put my knowledge in the medical field into practice. Yes, that's the spirit. We are young, but. We have the heart and power to make a difference. We'll let the world see the power of the youth from Taiwan. Eh? Youth power from Taiwan. Don't you think it's a great name for our organization? Mike, that's brilliant. Y. P. T. Let's, let's go. go. Could you move all the wood and bricks there? People in charge of the organization YPT are about to arrive. Miss Salinas. Hello, you must be Miss Liu, Mr. Lau, and Mr. Wu from YPT. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you in person. Let me show you guys around. We're going to wrap up the construction of the local school in a few months. Then we will need your assistance in implementing a sound educational program. Well, a group of well-trained volunteers will teach kids here some basic reading and writing skills. Full sponsorship will be provided for those who have a chance to attend college. That sounds great. And besides the lack of education, the shortage of medical and resources and supplies is also our concern. My team and I will offer health education about birth control and STD prevention. What's more, we will improve on the sanitary conditions to cut down the spread of diseases. We will also set up free clinics here. And I've established an online platform for easy donation and exchange. We're now collecting some secondhand stuff, such as used clothes, books, shoes, and so on. We're going to have them delivered to every household. Thank you. We really appreciate the support from Taiwan. I will never forget, 15 years ago, 
three vigorous and compassionate young men taught me alphabet and played with me here. The love from Taiwan inspired me to become a volunteer and devote myself to helping the disadvantaged. Oh, are, are you Yuda? And are you Selena, Mike and Max? Oh. I've never expected to really meet you guys again. Thank you so much. What you have brought from Taiwan is more than the benefit of material, educational, and medical support. It is your love deep down that strengthens our faith to live a better life. Yes, when love prevails, power grows. 第七对表演题目是 Life is Art, Live Yours in Color. 计时开始。Freeze! Bam! 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 Hey, who are you guys? We're magicians ready to paint your dreams in color. Actually, we're artists from Taiwan. What magic can you do? Ta! Wow! What is that? It's a magic wand that can let you express the feelings in your heart and make your dreams come true. Dreams? You mean the fire bursting out from the guns? Those singly beautiful flames that fade in an instant? No, they're probably useless. Let's continue with our game. Hey, what are we going to do with the blood? This is our toy. We have been playing this since we moved to this refugee camp. Yeah, we have nothing else to play. In a country without guns, we are what is known as brave. Our children are. But, but, whoa, listen, this is a gun. It can hurt other people, or even yourself. But I've seen people carry this kind of toy all around. Everyone's playing this. Why can't I? You might want to think of it less as a toy than a loaded gun. One that's going to go off if you're not careful. Hey! Guns are dangerous, especially the end with the hall. No, this is just a game. Don't be so worried. No, 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 no. See? Hey! Oh. hey, kid. Brian, wanna give another shot? No, 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 no! It's an accident. I swear, I, I didn't mean it. <sighs> we'll see, kid. <laughs> To your own work. But but mom, Louis is gonna teach us how to do magic. Please, mom, it won't take too much time. And I promise you, I'll go help that as soon as possible. Please. Wait mom. wait wait wait. What magic? Remember how you saw the world with nothing else but wonder? The skies were painted with clouds, and smiles blossomed on faces. That was magic. Here. Let's paint endless smells here and make life colorful. You have your magic wand, and this is your can of color. Let's splash dreams here. Bye. 
finally! Yeah, it is so pretty! Mom, what does that symbolize? Oh, it's the essence of our tradition. What about that? I drew a big tree with my wishes on it. Those smiling faces are my friends and family. Look, this one is Benny. Oh, I wish he's here with us. Wow, gorgeous. I like that tree. Benny, you're hey. the cover. Let's paint something. Of course. I wish that could bring peace to the world. The eighth performance theme is "We Grew Together, We Walk Together, We Will Fly Together." Ji Shi, start. Long time ago, when Taiwan was still a poor country. Oh my God! Did you hear? I just heard Taiwan has a really bad earthquake. There are people are very bad situation, you know. Oh my God. Taiwan? Where is Taiwan? I never heard about it before. It's pretty far from here, but we sure we still share the same name, so we should help them. Yeah, you're right. We should help them. We could donate money oh. or even go over there to help them. Oh, it's a good idea. Let's go immediately. Yeah, let's go. Help! Oh, my leg! My leg! Oh, oh my God! Hang on! Hang on! Don't move! Let me remove all the debris. Okay. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it. Here, I have some medicine for you. Thank you. You are... Oh. We are volunteers from the United States. We are here to help you for uh, rebuild your country. Oh, thank you. I'm so hungry right now. Hold on, hold on. Here, I have some food here for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. We never forget this. Yes, thank you. In the, in the year 2015, Taiwan has become a rich country. Hey, did you hear about the earthquake a few days ago in America? It was like super crazy. Even buildings got destroyed. What a terrible natural disaster! How could this happen? Yeah, right? So, we can help them. Yeah, we definitely should. But what should we do? Well, Taiwan's medical care is much better than many countries. And our volunteers have much experience with helping others after natural disasters. My aunt is a member of Red Cross. I think they've already started to take action. Yeah, Red Cross is a well-known organization. We can participate in that as well. Oh, it's our honor to be a part of it. Yeah, it definitely is. Let's get our passports and the tickets ready. Oh, it's time to contribute our value to our friends and family. Absolutely. Let's roll. Taiwan donating money for one billion dollars for us to build, rebuild our country. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. We are so happy to help. We never forget that you helped us before. Mm. It's time to us to help you. Let's rebuild your country. Thank you. Okay. Rebuild. understand that cooperation will make our country better and better. We made this together. 
Yes. We can contribute our love to every single country, to every different kind of people around the world. Let's take our world and create a more wonderful and beautiful world together. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you. 第九队表演题目是 Flying with the World， 计时开始。Wow, I'm so excited to be in Taiwan. I'm so curious about the wetland. Why? Nowadays the wetlands are not so good as before, so don't get your expectations too high. Where's that awful smell coming from? I think it smells delicious. Hey, my old friends, are I going to the wetland again? Ah, I see you bring a lovely new one with you. Here you go, kids. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Taiwan's famous for its delicious food, and this is bubble tea. This is stinky tofu. Ew! I don't like how it smells. Don't ever say no before even try it. Who knows? Maybe you like it. No. I see so yourself. I'm giving yours to my dearest friends. Thank you. What? Who are you? And why do you look so different from us? This is me. I'm the famous bird mappa. I'm a national bird of Taiwan. I'm so proud to be special species. Welcome to Taiwan. Look, we're、uh, we're already arriving. Oh my God! Is this the wetland? It's quite different from the one in the past. Well, it's fantastic, but how come the ground is sticky? You're such a stupid bird. This is the wetland. All these years, Taiwan's done its best to maintain and improve the wetland. People in Taiwan are worried that it won't come again. The colonies are so kind. Are your people kind enough to help others? Sure. Looking back on the Sichuan earthquake. Taiwan's rescue teams are seen there to help victims of the disaster. Yeah, they also donated many supplies. Who are serving? Serving? Yeah, they also donated many supplies. Who are serving in Japan? And then, are there any other more? I want to know. And after the nuclear disaster of Japan, Taiwan has don donated most money in the world. Moreover, Taiwan helped Japan handle the wreckage caused by the tsunami. Too often, you guys are letting me take my lines. Grandpa, Grandma, I want to hear more. All right, let me show you something. Ooh, a smartphone. What I really want to show you is this. What is this? This is the fan page set up to pray and give blessing for Japan after the tsunami. Taiwanese should donate money on website and present their best wishes to Japan. Later, just in return. Japanese came to Taiwan to help some thank you activities. Also, they sent lots of testimonials to Taiwan. Wow, Taiwan is really marvelous. It's full of awesome people, delicious food, and beautiful sights. But you haven't seen all of it just yet. What have I not seen on this beautiful island? You know, because the wind and sea have been for many years, the rock of North have turned into a ship, like a candle. A head and pretty cats, but it's not just a head; it's the queen's head. Such beautiful view won't last long. Wow, Taiwan sounds so spectacular. So this is why it's our favorite stop over. I sure do hope there will be more opportunity for us to interact with foreign country in the future. We, We love, love Taiwan. Taiwan. Watching. 第十队表演题目是 Borderless Facilitators Papa Go， 计时开始。Hey Jeff, over here. Hey Lawrence, my buddy. I'm really excited because few hours later, 
I will start to search for water and get some in Haiti. You bet. Do you remember we dreamed to become overseas volunteers to create a more meaningful life? I just can't believe this dream is about to come true! Hmm, well... But why Wendy hasn't shown up yet? Hey, Wendy! We thought you would be late! Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Are you gonna chicken out? Come on, how can I miss it? I'm a plant pathology major. Oh, by the way, how do you plan to help the farmers in Switzerland promote their produce? Well, about that, I believe that my teammates and I are able to deal with the problem. It will be fine. You can say that again. Let's do this. Yes, sure. And always keep in touch. That's right, in Switzerland. And me, in Haiti. And in Panama. Lawrence, you have been helping us get some water for almost a year. Finally, he has come to an end. Yes, that's wonderful. Now we can check the water valve of the sluice to make sure everything is all right now. Oh, I'm so nervous. Long time ago, it took us three hours to get only two gallons every day. Now, the water supply construction has finally finished. I'm so nervous and excited. My baby. We could have regular water supply in the future. Good Lord, bless us. Everybody, watch out. We're turning on the water bowl in three, two, one. <gasps> All right, finally, we've got water, water. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Baby, we finally have water. Thank you, thank you very much. You're such a lucky star. No problem. This kind of worm has caused the orange tree a serious plant disease. You can notice there are some yellow spots on its leaves. <sighs> if this problem cannot be solved in time, we'll have a very poor harvest this year. Besides, this certain plant disease doesn't have any border. The worms will carry this disease to our neighboring countries, such as Costa Rica. So you mean the orange trees in those countries will face the same situation? Yes. However, we Taiwanese people have had experiences for 60 years when it comes to creating a disease-resistant plant. Come on, just follow me. Okay. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. Anyone want some sweet potatoes? Hey, look, it's Jeff. Hey. Thank you for helping us grow high-quality sweet potatoes. It's my honor. Thanks to Taiwan Technical Mission in Swaziland. This program truly provides good sweet potato seedlings for the farmers for a better year of crops. What's more, it trains farmers to grow sweet potatoes with better skills. You're right. The shortage of food has improved a lot. Most of all, we can have sufficient and secure food here in Switzerland. Well, I made it. I really made it. Now you can see three people with different nationalities are singing one of the well-known Taiwanese songs, Gao Shan Qing, the expresser sings to Taiwan. Let's listen to what they say. Thank goodness. It's such a blessing to have water. Lawrence, my friend, thank you very much. These are ripe and beautiful oranges for our great harvest this year. They are big and juicy. Do you want to have a bite? Jeff, Jeff, the harvest of sweet potatoes gives us a better life. Thank you so much. Anything else to say to Taiwan? Thank you. Thank you, Taiwan. As you can see, three young Taiwanese have realized their dream and they do something great to the world. This is Tiffany from Taiwanese Skills International Care. Thanks for watching. See you next time. The One Potato a Day Keep the Hunger Away. Good morning, this is Avril. Today's headline, shocking news from African local authorities. As you can see in the picture, 
There is a vulture behind a young boy that is about to start to death. The photographer who took this picture was also criticized to be cruel not to help the boy immediately. After being questioned by the crowd, the photographer explained that he took him to the hospital right after they captured the ironic image. Most Africans are in a bad environment nowadays. What can we do to keep needy Africans from starving to death? There are two Taiwanese young students named Hiro and Catherine who decided to head for Africa to help those in need after they watched the news. Let's report it for you later. Hey, Catherine. Hi. Did you see the news about Africa? Oh yes, it is truly an absolute tragedy. Don't you think we should do something about it? Yeah, but what can we do? We are just students after all. Well, we can be volunteers and go there to give them a hand. I'm not so sure it's a good idea considering the risk. Oh, come on. It's a challenge that we're willing to take. Mm, all right. I will, I will book the plane ticket so we can leave right away. But where is it? Well, the country's name is Chad. Try to find it on the map. Mm, is it this one? Correct. Now shall we leave? Of course, let's go. Hero and Catherine ran into an African resident on his way back from the creek. Because of drought, people are suffering from water shortage in Africa. Hi, my name is Hiro. I'm from Taiwan. Do you understand English? Yes, my name's Arnold. I live in a village about two kilometers away. You travel two kilometers every day just to find water? Yes, because we are currently suffering from water shortage. Water shortage? The situation seems to be more serious than I thought. It has been like this ever since I was born. Are you heading back now? Can we follow you? Uh, okay, but it is a long way. No problem. Let's leave. Arnold is on his farm. He wants to grow something for his family to eat, but he doesn't know how. Oh, the water is for the plants he grows. But if he wants to harvest big and good quality ones, he must have correct method to grow them. Let's teach him how to cultivate them. Arnold, plow to bring the undersoil to their surface, like this you see. Okay, let me try it. Great job, simple as it looks. Then, sow the seeds like this, see? Okay. Last, water the land and let sunlight do its job. After a few months, you will have good potatoes to eat. Potatoes? I have never tasted them before. Believe me, they taste delicious. Three months later. Thank you so much for helping us. You're welcome. It's what we came for. Now you can finally live without starvation. Yes, I can feed myself and my family at last. Well, I guess our mission has accomplished. Time yeah. to head back to school. Definitely. This is definitely a unique experience. I think everyone should exert the heart of mercy and help these pitiful refugees. Yeah, like us. Although we are only students, we still made a big difference. Anyways, the new school semester is about to start, and we have a wonderful story to tell our classmates and teachers. I can't wait to share my story. Catherine came back to Taiwan. They shared their experience with the students in their school. Before I went to Africa, I had no idea how poor the country was. After what I've seen and experienced there, I still can't believe how poor a country could be. I feel we are lucky ones living in a prosperous country. We don't have to worry about food or water. Right, we have to cherish what we have and avoid wasting our resources. Besides, we can devote ourselves to helping those in need around the world. Not only money or food, but also our ability. Definitely. As the youth generation, we should live a meaningful and valuable life. Do not hesitate, my fellow classmates and teachers. Let's try our best to contribute in helping the people in need. We hope Hero and Catherine's story can inspire more people in Taiwan. As the proverb goes, unity is strength. There are things that you can't accomplish on your own. 
Let's support the refugees in rural countries for the greater good of mankind. You are not alone. Welcome to ABC News. Today, something terrible happened in a school in a southern state in USA. A student was shooting wildly and endlessly at people around him as a result of having been bullied for a long time at school. Four people were dead and 21 were badly injured. This incident was not the first case that happened around the world. We should take heed of this kind of event and make more efforts to prevent this tragedy. <coughs> something to amuse me. Then one day Sarah from Jordan acting so girlish, I joined her to bullying Jordan, which makes me feel good. about a rumor. Remember, if you show your worries, those who spread rumor will only be even happier. By the way, if you really want to help, you have to tell your best friend the truth in a way she can accept it. But if the situation still goes worse, maybe you can report this kind of bully to Facebook. It will block your friend account if verified true. Yeah, maybe I should have thought more about her feelings. Thanks a lot for your advice. Someday I want to be just like you, sharing your own experience and help others with this website. Welcome to join us as a volunteer consultant. Wonderful! Wonderful. In our website, not only do we listen to others, we also encourage them to start a new life. Today, we'd like to introduce you an amazing website. You are not alone. The founders, Tiffany and Jordan, once being bullied, made up their minds to change this situation. Over 3,000 volunteer consultants around the world, also once been bullied, provide a service online all day long. The website has greatly reduced potential to not delinquency. I am here with you. Though you're far away, I'm here to stay. You are not alone. 第
十三对表演题目是《The Different Colors of Love》，计时开始。Ah! Cancel the flight, Bill. Please. Why? We planned this for months. We can't stop now. There's a severe typhoon coming. We better stay here to help. And I'm quite worried about my family. Listen to me, my friend. I believe people in Taiwan can take care of themselves. But think about those refugees in Syria. To them, every day may be the last day. Well, I think you are right. They surely need more help than ours do. Don't worry too much. Everything will work out in the end. So get ready for the flight. The plane will take off soon. Anna, this is Chris. He's my friend and our leader in Syria. Hi, Anna. Thanks for coming. I hope you didn't ask to cancel the flight. Oh, of course not. I always want to help. Really? That's brave of you. Stop making fun of her, Chris. Why don't you tell Anna more about Syria? All right. Four or five years ago, there was a civil war in Syria, and the bombing and the merciless battles have torn apart countless families. About one million Syrians fled to the border of Turkey in a hurry. Those Syrian people can't get legal identity there. They can only do some low-paying jobs, mostly sewing. The Turkey government can't afford to take care of all the Syrians. They can only offer one meal per day. So imagine how difficult this refugee's life is. No money, no food, and no home. Anna, well, this is Professor Debra. She lived in Syria before. Now she works with me as a full-time volunteer. Professor, these Syrians are just like、mm, tears lost in the rain. Exactly. War is the most terrifying force ever. Really appreciate your help. Syrians here need to know that they are not forgotten. Let's waste no time. We need to visit so many families and give them this specially customized blanket. Me this. These blankets are so soft, light, but warm and elegant. Please hire some Syrian women to make these blankets. While working, they brought their kids some basic knowledge. Why don't we just give them this for free? I know we raise enough money. Anna, instead of sympathy, what these people truly need is our empathy. We want them to be strong and recover from the misery as soon as possible. If they always accept our kindness, they will never overcome all the obstacles. That's true. They need to work on their own, and their children need to be educated. By doing so, they can make a difference. Oh, I know. To be a giver, not a taker. You're a fast learner. Now let's deliver the supplies. To share her crashes with me, then she showed me this. It looks old, but she told us that it is the last memory she had from her daughter, whom she might never see again. She wanted us to have it because she said our love gave her hope to meet her family once again. Before the war, Debra worked in a college. After the war, she lost everything: her family, her house, her friend. But she was not defeated. Indeed, I'm still sad. But I want to do something to ease the pain. So I've been working with Chris and his friend from Taiwan. Chris provided the refugees here with jobs by running a small factory. I founded a little school to educate children. We hope together. After they grow up, they can make some changes for themselves and for their mother country as well. I know volunteers here are few, but with perseverance, we can surely make Syria a better place. And Taiwan isn't a big country. But still, we can embrace this world with our passion. Before Chris, people here hardly know where Taiwan is. But when this year and so Chris sings your help and even sacrifice he made, they knew that this Taiwan is friend truly wanted to help. We look different, but we feel the same. And most importantly, our hearts beat with the same dream to make a difference for the world. Chocolate Jindan, am I right? The lady told me it means thank you in Arabic. Deborah and Chris. I've learned a lot today. I promise I will continue to help these Syrians. Yes, we are young, but we will not give up planting the seeds of love. 感谢你 Your love conquers the distance. Though Taiwan is far away from Syria, more and more people will join us, and I believe that one day we can return to Syria and rebuild our lovely home. Professor, like what you told us, if you persevere with what we are doing now. 
we can change the whole world. I can't agree with Anna more. Let's drive around and make this beautiful dream come true together. Well said. Today, I've learned a lot from you guys as well. So have I. You girls bring us so much positivity. It's lucky to have you two adorable volunteers here with us. I feel the world is full of hope now. The fourteen team is the last wish. Thomas, surprise! Happy birthday to you, Thomas! Come on, Thomas, make a wish. Well, actually, make three wishes. Yeah. What do you wish for this year? Tell us the first two, and we fill us up for ourselves. Thank you guys so much. This is a nice surprise. I was not expecting this. Anyway, what are your wishes? Actually, I have one wish. Remember last week, Mr. Lee showed us a video about people dying from diseases because there is not enough clean drinking water in Africa. Right. It's really sad watching that clip. So, after school that day, I told my parents not to buy me birthday gifts. Instead, I wanted them to donate money to CharityWater.com. Aww, that's so nice of you, Thomas. Hey, I can help too. I have some money saved from my allowance of red envelopes. I can pitch in as well. This is really meaningful. Back to my wish. I hope that I can do something real and useful to help with the water situation in the world. And I already wrote down some ideas in my notebook. Wow! We can do it together. Let's talk more next week, OK? Right, cut the cake, Thomas, or else we'll eat up ourselves! What? Hey, my cake! How are you guys holding up? Hi, Mr. Lee. I know you're, you're deeply shocked by the tragic death of Thomas. I can't believe he's gone just like that. I think I'll never forgive that drunk driver. I really miss Thomas. It's so hard sitting in the classroom without him. I know it's not easy, but Thomas will want you to go on with your lives. Be strong for him, okay? We were going to talk about doing something together to help the African people. But now, he's gone. Well, you can still do it together in memory of him. I think Thomas will love it if you can finish what he started. Yes, let's do it. Let's carry out his last wish. We must do this for him. Actually, his mom gave me his notebook. See? He got it all figured out. He was planning to create a money raising site on the internet. Great, let's do this. Thomas, rest in peace. Don't worry, we'll take care of this for you. Let's go! much for coming on the way from Taiwan. On behalf of my people, I want to express our deepest gratitude for your kindness and generosity. Thank you for having us. We are really glad to be here. Yeah, thank you for the warm reception. I think Thomas would be over the moon if he could see this. Yes, if it weren't for his last wish, we wouldn't have clean water every day now. Look, those children are using a water pump. It is really touching and fulfilling to see the smiles on the children's faces when they saw the water flow out from the water pump. Here's another pump. Do you guys want to try it? I want to try it. It might be difficult for you to imagine, 
but these small pumps are really making our lives better in so many ways. It is great to see that young people like us can actually make a difference. To give is indeed more blessed than to receive. Hey, let's promise each other that we will continue helping other people around the world. I think I will join Doctors Without Borders after I finish med school. I will probably work for an NGO after college. Same here. I think if we try, we can really make a difference and make the world a better place. Okay, let's, let's embrace the world together. Bow. Thank you. 第十五对表演题目是 Booking a Ride， 计时开始。Aren't we supposed to be reaching the hundredth stop of our cycling world tour? Where exactly is Leverkada? All right, rest time. We can catch our breath now. We must be in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Oh, I can't believe you're reading your favorite book, The Little Prince, again. Relax, Irene. We'll get there soon. We're running out of water. Fine, don't be mad. I'll go look around. Maybe there's a river nearby. Hey, give me the book in your hand. Come and catch me. It's mine now. Let's see. Oops, the book is torn. Why did you play such a practical joke on me? Oh no, Miss Lahu will be mad. And we will be sentenced to a lifelong ban on borrowing library books. I was just trying to help you get that book and end a silly fight. Sorry, my friend didn't mean it. Well, The Little Prince is my favorite book. I carry a copy wherever I travel. Hope it can be of some help. Wow! Thank you so much. But wait, how can you have a copy of this book? I have already owned a copy from the library. Don't you know that there are millions of copies of that book everywhere? <gasps> Books everywhere? Where's everywhere? No matter where it is, it must be a paradise of books. Oh, I love to visit it. Where is everywhere? And who are you? We're not from everywhere. We're, We're from, from Taiwan. Taiwan. I'm Melody. I'm Irene. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm Isa. I'm Capri. Nice to meet you too. But what are you guys doing here? Well, we're on our biking road tour, but it seems like we're stuck and running out of water. water. There's a well nearby. We know the shortcut. Just follow us. Yeah! Hold on. Can you wait a couple of hours? We have to return a book today. Uh, that's right. Uh, it takes us three hours to pay a library visit. We must hurry up. Three hours by walking to express our deepest gratitude. Please allow us to give you a bike ride. Yeah. Yes, let's go get you some water and set up for a library. Thank you so much for the book and read. What fancy bicycles you have! Ah, oh, I wish I had one too. Well, my bike is yet to recommend. And so is mine. It's so nice of you, but well, we'll end up with no bikes anyway after you leave. Well, if only you were in Taiwan, then borrowing bicycles wouldn't be so much of a problem. Yeah. Really? Why? Why? Thanks to our mighty U bike system, there are bicycle stations all over the city. Wow, that's so cool, Isa. Imagine there are five stations around the village. No, you're daydreaming. We can't afford so many bikes. Hey, don't worry. Taiwan is the leading bicycle manufacturer. Bicycle supply won't be a problem. Count on us. Then Capri and I will be responsible for setting up bike stops. Let's get started right now. Yay! Yes. Really? Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank Irene. You. Bye. Look, a thousand people have signed up to donate used bikes for the campaign we launched online. Great! I just called Giant Bicycles and promised to ship two hundred used bikes. That's great. One down, five, five to go. go. Let's make the next call. And we need one bike stop between the school and the playground. Yes, but most of all, one beside the library. We're done. Ha ha ha! Let's show it to Melody and Irene. Me Capri, check out our roof vent today. Oh, yeah. The bikes are arriving today. Easter with a bike system, it'll 
will be more convenient for you to borrow and return books. Hooray! I can't wait for the first ride. I want to book your ride. Let's, Let's go. go. to deliver books for them. And we named the system the Book Ride. We really appreciate your help. Wow, seems everything is well there. Yeah, I can't believe we changed the village so much. Seeing so many smiling faces all around is such a delight. Are we thinking about the same thing? We, youth around the world, can truly make a difference. Thank you. 第十六队表演题目是 Grease the Hope， 计时开始。We still still got two weeks to spend. On. Well, how about do something meaningful? Um, how about travel abroad? And where should we go then? Hmm, off the top of my head, how about China? China? China is too near, and our culture is too much alike. How about Greece? Hmm. What's so special? China has roast dog, Cantonese porridge, compound chicken. But Greek cuisine has feta and cheese, moussakas, and the marvelous scenery that you can't find elsewhere. Why? Let's go to Greece. Why don't we be here? Where should we go, friends? Acropolis, Athens Stadium. No, I'm famished. Let's grab something a bite. All right, all right. How about have some frozen yogurt over there? Ooh, sounds like a great idea. Okay, just let me pick up my wallet. Hey, man, what are you doing? Ah,、uh, I'm sorry, sir, but it's my child. Look at her. She's dying. I need those money to buy some food for her. Please, sir. Please. All right, all right. Here's some money. Go buy your kids some food, but don't do that again. Okay, I will never do that again. Thank you, sir. Now what? We don't have any money to buy frozen yogurt. Oh, forget it. At least we do something right. Right. Oh, sir. <gasps> sir, are you alright? Picture. It reminds me of what I once had. What What happened then? My wife. She left me two years ago, when I was stuck by poverty during the economic crisis. She left me nothing but my two poor sons. My sons, they just died of starvation two days ago. This life is not worth living at all. What can we do for you? There's nothing you can do.、Um, here's some instant noodles. Just take it. it it's okay. It's okay. And, and here's some clothes. I I I can't thank you guys enough. What's on your mind? You know what? We should upload these videos to the net. In this way, we can draw more public attention. I can't agree with you more. In this way, we can not only assist the old man, but also help others in need. Let's do it. Let's do this. After a few weeks, the video suddenly went viral in Taiwan, and so Taiwanese gather funds and all kinds of donations and send them to Greece. Not only the Taiwanese, this video also attracted attention from all around the world, including 
the Greece government. Thank you too for helping our citizens. Because of your video, donations have been pouring in. Would you like to make a comment on why would you help the less fortunate? Okay. Well, it is not a big deal. Everyone can do it, even though you are just a high school student. It's the small thing we do in life that makes the biggest difference in the world. We can't do much, but we can do our best to help others. Absolutely. In this way, we can spread our love and... Grace the hope! 第十七对表演题目是 One Click, One Chance, One May Survive and Thrive。计时开始。<gasps> We can also make good use of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Soon, we will come up with more ways and more people to help them. What's that? My friend in Taiwan just shared a website on her Facebook. It's about refugees. Marvelous, and it has both Chinese and English versions. Lovely. I'm going to share with my friends.
risking their lives to escape from their countries. We seldom know how difficult their lives were. And it was so easy for us to ignore their agony. Because not many of us knew what they had suffered from. So after I read the news, I made up my mind not to sit back and do nothing. The better way to let people know was set up this website. Till now, I really appreciate that so many people helped us and supported us. I hope that I can keep fighting for the rights of the refugees and make the world a better place for everyone. Thank you. Christy, Christy. Yes, I'm Cecilia from Syria. I used to be a college student there. However, I was forced to leave Syria. Because of you, I got a chance to start a brand new life. You give me the strength so that I can stand up again. I hope that I can help others life just like you do. Thank you so much. Oh, you're right. We can make a difference. Yes, we can make a difference. Yes, we can make a difference if we try.